Hello, my name is Liesl. Today, I'm going to show you three easy ways to create a solid color block behind your text in Canva. This might come in very handy if you want your text to stand out from a busy background. So if this is what you're looking for, come with me. To illustrate the first method, I've added this colorful background to this Instagram post. We will go to text, add a heading. I will add my wording. I'm going to update the font and also update the color. Now, when I go to the color box and I scroll down, this section will come up. It says photo colors and all the colors that is in your design at the moment will show up there. So this might be quite useful to you. Let's choose that one. Okay, so now I'll click on your text, go to effect. Here you will see style, go down to background, and as soon as you click on that, Canva will automatically add a solid background to your text, okay? But we can customize that. So if you scroll down, you will see all the options. There will be roundness. So if you use the sliding scale, you can remove the roundness or you can exaggerate it. Spread, you can make it you know, thicker. Transparency, this has got to do with the color that you've chosen for the background and you can either make it completely solid or transparent. Okay, and then you can adjust the color. So let's click on that. And I'm going to make it, let's have a look here, that pink. Click out of it. I will just adjust my transparency and there you go this is the first easy method for the second method i've chosen a different background we will go to text add a heading and follow the same principle my wording a little bit bigger okay so now we are going to place a solid color behind just the word amazing okay so we will go to elements I will choose a shape and then here you can see a square shape or a rounded square and all different ones. Just let's have a look here. Let's choose this one. I will pull it over. Drag it down over the word. Let's update the color. Now right click, go to layers, show layers. And now you can just simply drag your shape below the wording and this is how you would create a color block in the second way for the third method I've got a colored background I've added the wording let's go to elements go to frame see all I'm going to choose this badge frame, make it slightly bigger. So now you can just fill that with color. So you can choose a solid color, for example, or you can also choose a gradient. Okay. But what I want to do is I want to go again to elements. I want to choose an animal print. And I'm just going to choose this one and drag it into my frame. Then right click, layer, show layers. And now I'm going to pull my layer here below the wording. Okay. Let's just change the color of our words. And there you go. This would be the third method. And this one also gives you a little bit more flexibility if you want to use a gradient or if you wanted to use an actual pattern 
behind your words. I hope you found this helpful today. I hope you learned something new. If you've got any questions, please leave me a comment. And thank you so much for staying until the end. See you next time. Bye-bye.